My Black History Month inspiration video is about celebrating some great black historical women hoping that it will inspire others. Gladys West. Gladys West is one reason you can receive driving directions from your phone or tag a photo location on Instagram using GPS Global Positioning System. After graduating with her master's degree in mathematics, she was hired as a mathematician at the Naval Proving Ground in Dahlgren where she analyzed satellite data. She was one of only four African-American employees at the time. At first, she was a human computer, doing the math out longhand herself. After computer programming training, West's work with the Naval Ordnance Research Calculator NORC. In 1962 she helped program NORC for Project 29 Volts, which established the planet Pluto's motion relative to Neptune through 5 billion arithmetic calculations and 100 hours of computer calculation. In 1978, she project managed SEASAT, the first Earth-orbiting satellite designed for remote sensing of the Earth's oceans. The Geosat satellite used SEASAT and other data to create highly accurate computer simulations of the Earth's surface. Bessie Coleman Bessie Coleman was an early American civil aviator and a star of early aviation exhibitions and air shows. She was the first African-American woman and first Native American to hold a pilot license. She earned her pilot license from the Fédération Adronautique Internationale on June 15, 1921, in France, and was the first black person to earn an international pilot's license. Discrimination thwarted Coleman's attempts to enter aviation schools in the United States. Undaunted, she learned French and in 1920 was accepted at the Codron Brothers School of Aviation. Black philanthropists Robert Abbott, founder of the Chicago Defender, and Jesse Binga, a banker, assisted with her tuition. In further training in France, she specialized in stunt flying and parachuting. She returned to the United States, where racial and gender biases precluded her from becoming a commercial pilot. Stunt flying, or barnstorming, was her only career option. Clara Bell Williams. Clara was the first black American graduate of New Mexico State University, and the first African American teacher in Las Cruces, New Mexico. While Williams was a student, she was segregated from other students because of her race and often had to listen to lectures outside of classrooms and take notes while standing in the hallway. She received a Bachelor of Arts in English but was not allowed to participate in her class's graduation because of her color. In 1961 the university officials, recognizing the injustice towards Clara and began to make amends. The university named Williams Avenue, located on its campus, after the family. In 1980, 43 years after she graduated, Williams received an honorary law degree and an apology from school officials for the racist treatment she endured during her studies. In 2005, the university named its English building after Williams and the Clara Bell Williams Award ceremony was further established in her honor. Wilma Rudolph. Wilma was born prematurely and spent most of her childhood in bed. She suffered from double pneumonia, scarlet fever, and later she contracted polio. After losing the use of her left leg, she was fitted with metal leg braces aged six. My doctor told me I would never walk again. My mother told me I would. I believed my mother. Wilma overcame her disabilities and later became one of the world's fastest women. In 1960, at the Summer Olympics, she won three gold medals, becoming the first American woman to win three medals in track and field at the same Olympic Games. Ray Montague. Ray revolutionized how the Navy designed ships and submarines using a computer program she developed in the early 1970s. Ray faced racism and sexism in the segregated South. She rode in the back of the bus and was denied entry to a college engineering program because she was black. Ray later became an internationally registered professional engineer and shattered the Navy's glass ceiling when she became the first female program manager of ships. 
she earned the civilian equivalent of the rank of captain. It would normally take two years to produce a rough design of a ship on paper, but during the heat of the Vietnam War, Ray was given one month to design the specifications for a frigate. She did it in 18 hours and 26 minutes. Althea Gibson Althea Gibson was the first black player to win the French, Wimbledon, and U.S. Open singles championships. During the 1950s, Gibson won 56 singles and doubles titles, including 11 Grand Slam titles. Gibson toured with the Harlem Globetrotters basketball team in 1960, joined the Ladies Professional Golf Association Tour in 1964 the first black woman to do so and played pro golf until 1977 was ranked number three in 1967. On August 22, 1950, Althea Gibson became the first black person to play at the U.S. Nationals tennis tournament. Her success broke color line barriers and paved the way for equality for many prominent female athletes, like Venus and Serena Williams. Althea was ranked the world's number one tennis player in 1957, and held a major record of 53-9.